Oh, welcome back to the channel. My name is John. This is NAR Outdoors, and this is a package from Australia. I'll put the details of the company down below, and it is supposed to be the best tailgate seal you can get for the next Gen Ranger. Figured you might want to take a look at it. It's going to be installed soon. with lots of bits and bobbles, so some foam for different spots, and the company is Digital Twin Developments, um, so foam, some special rivety things, and uh, some bolts. This is the seal for along the bottom of the bed, so between the, the tailgate and the bottom of the bed. Various foam for other parts. And then what really makes this unique compared to other products is this stuff right here. What I will probably do is a partial install, install this right here, and then wait till I get my camper to install the part along the bottom of the truck bed between the truck bed and the tailgate itself. So these are contoured to fit the sides of the Ranger's bed and then a bulb seal fits over them to provide that sealing surface. So, yeah. Hang out, let me get these installed, and then again, we'll hold off on this. Uh, but I'll have their information down below. Really cool guy, very responsive. Super excited about this for the Ranger. Let's get a little prep done. First off, I'm going to attach the D seal to the plates. I've got their instructions beside me. Uh, so I'm going to clean the surfaces where this adhesive is going to go with alcohol. These are painted through for stainless, so if the finish gets damaged or, you know, whatever, it's not a big deal. Um, so this bit of trim goes along the outside of this bit of the round. I say it's very important not to put any tension on this as you're installing it. It's all dry. try to do is get the edge of the adhesive lined up with the edge here. Just go real slow. Second one's frequently a little easier. This one wasn't hard. I'm doing this almost from the back side of it, which allows me to see the gray strip and align it along the edge of the metal. Try to get as uniform adhesive contact as possible. Next, I'm taking 
this stuff, this channeled seal, and sliding it on. Just flush with this edge right here. Straight forwards. Get the other side. Just get it started on one end. Work your way down. This is very similar to the seal that's used in the doors of the truck, I believe. So if this gets damaged, it should be easy to replace if needed. All right. And again, I'm going to install this at a later date to allow my truck to be able to um, still drain out the back, I think. We'll see once I get to actually the installation if I'm still planning on doing that. So uh, join me at the truck. I'm going to get some tools together. Need some Torx bits mostly. Yeah. Right. So the first thing I want us to do is to tape this down with painters or masking tape to keep it from moving. And first difference between this and the Australian Ranger is that these aren't torques, these are sockets uh, in milliliters, so just you're going to want to whip those out. have different sizes of these. These are the slightly smaller size, the 50 millimeter and they're 60 millimeters as well. They want you shoving this up here. Um, I am actually going to skip that because I'm going to pull these off at some point and I'll put those in then. Uh, so that's one of my next projects is to pull those off. Next thing, you're going to assemble your hardware. So the top bolt reuses that. These you're going to replace with slightly longer bolts. So there's a bolt and a washer, and then there's a spacer. Yeah, no bolts. These bolts come with that Six millimeter. And then kind of working at the bottom, you're going to ease, ease it in place while putting some pressure on it. Uh, you're going against the resistance of the seal itself, among other things. Looks like it's completely fine. And yeah, this will just pop on and off. So I'll just pull it off for this part. Leave it just a touch loose. We go. One side done. Turn it around. <sighs> but I know what awaits. This side will hopefully go quicker. So again, I am doing this a little bit out of order. There's supposed to be a piece of foam up in this gap right here, but I'm going to take care of that when I pull my bed rails off to dust proof them. Let me pull all the stuff off the tailgate 
and we will take a look and see what it looks like closed up. So again, 10 mil to take out these two, 45 Torx to take out the top one. Use the same bolt, 45 Torx to go back in, and then they provided me four millimeter M6 sockets, or a Allen key type for the bottom bits. That is a solid seal. Now, one thing I just realized, it's not really mentioned in the instructions. So you have two lengths of this foam. Um, the shorter one gets tucked up in the bed rail. Like I said, when I pull my cap off, that's when I'm gonna put that in. This longer one, they don't mention in the instructions, but it's meant to go right here to finish off the upper seal. So I've cleaned that with some rubbing alcohol. Just gonna smash that on there for now. So much better than stock. On the bottom, actually, for my truck, and there's some different generations of truck beds, the bottom seal will actually insert in these holes and bulge out this way. So I'm gonna leave this out for now just to let my truck bed drain. Um, next project, probably next week, is we're gonna pull off these caps, put some aluminum foil tape down and some Cicaflex so that we can keep out any intrusion from that area and then look into some other spots of where to dust proof so i got some grommets already in a couple holes here trying to figure out what to do with those holes and then there's a hole up there that i am racking my brain on how to fix um i'm thinking i'm just gonna get some foam and shove it up in there and then the last bit is these holes here uh, on the front of the camper, um, or the front of the truck bed when the camper shell is installed are going to have to figure out what to do with them. You got two circular ones on this side, and two oval ones on this side. I'm actually going to, let me find out how long this is, because what I might do is get some l track to just go over this whole thing and put a gasket of l track down or gasket under the L-Track. All right, see you soon, bye. No roar.